Jones has won a number of Bush Grand National races here, including a race in the spring. Here's Sterling Marlin now going to the inside of Walker. And now we're going to show you the uh, in-car camera of Jeff Bodine. Watch the six and the ten. They hit, and then boom. Hit again. Again. And a spin coming up for is Davey Allison as he's into the inside wall. The Haviland Ford is against the inside wall, and the yellow flag is out for the eighth time this afternoon. And it's a break for a lot of drivers that were about to go a lap down. I mentioned a moment ago, if this thing stayed green for 40 or 50 laps, Harry Gant was going to put a lot of people a lap down. He was about to put Ricky Rudd two laps down. Here's a replay of how Davey Allison spun off four. He's coming off the corner on the inside of Darrell Waltrip. That's Darrell in the Western Auto Chevrolet. And all of a sudden, did you oh. see Davey's car? It, it like hit a bump or something. It's like there was oil there or something. And Darrell did a nice job of saving it because he was almost as sideways as Davey was. I didn't, oh, I see. There is some contact between the two yeah. cars right there. I didn't see that the first time by. Davey slides to the inside and just barely touching the wall. And now we have a lot of pit activity here on the front stretch. And uh, Jerry punches in Harry Gant's pit. Well, Charlie Presley, Andy Pinkery, and the rest of the Skull crew have already changed ride side tires. Rusty on the bottom of your screen, you see the Miller crew working on the Miller. Andy would draft Charlie, changed left side tires on Rusty. Left side tires are already on Harry Gant. Rusty still in the air as Gant now moves down pit road at 35 miles an hour. Rusty is down and away. Good pit work here by the Skull crew. Rusty Wallace comes out, and now let's go to the back stretch pits and John Kernan, who's there with Jimmy Hensley. Well, you see just the disadvantage that you have. Jimmy not running that far behind him on the racetrack, but because he's pitted on the back stretch and the close pit road, he is just now getting two tire or two tires on the right side, less going on. Also, a slight chassis adjustment made in the right side. Now, something that may have been a contributing factor in Davey Allison's spin. I talked to Joey Knuckles. Remember, we said they had the left side towed in. Well, they fixed that problem on the last caution, but there was a problem with the steering box, guys. And Joey said that whenever Davey got into the turns in the middle of the turns felt like there was a lot of play in the wheel so that may have had something uh, to do with him spinning out and not keeping control of the car well in any case the eighth caution period of the day is upon us here at martinsville with 211 laps completed we'll be back with more live coverage in just a moment Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's just hang around here for a little while. John. Okay. John. John. 